Hey guys. This is my second test of some video recording capabilities of my phone. I thought it might be fun for my first video to put together this puzzle. Now you might be able to tell I hope it's not a normal puzzle. We've got pieces that are thicker than a normal puzzle thicker than normal puzzle pieces. Still have a picture on one side, but the back side is just this foam stuff. This is actually, the brand of puzzle is called a Puzz 3D. These puzzles were made by a company called the Rebit Corporation. That's W-R-E-B-B-I-T. And I'm pretty sure the company doesn't exist anymore. It may have gotten bought out by Milton Bradley or another one of the game and puzzle manufacturers. I have a bunch of these. Some of them are big, hundreds of pieces, more than a thousand pieces even for a couple of them. And I loved these. I loved these puzzles growing up. And now I have them here. I finally got them from my parents' house. They're just in a bin, a big gray Sterilite bin. Some of them are put together, some of them not put together, um, or partially put together. There are some pieces assembled and others not. This is small, it's a manageable size, so I thought it would be fun to do it together. So when I do puzzles, what I like to do is, uh, but first I lay out all the pieces, as you can see. I like to make sure that I can see what's at my disposal. I look a lot at color and not so much at shape of the pieces, especially when I'm building something like this. So the first thing I see is these wheel pieces, which I'm going to sort and leave them off to the side. What I usually find is that if I do some sorting at the beginning, gives me fewer pieces to look at in this main collection. Next thing I notice is the ladders. Pieces like this are nice because they have words on them. Slide over just a little bit. Anytime you have pieces with words on them, it's nice to get those together, get them out of the way. Easily recognizable.
Okay. So now a few other ladder parts. I'm gonna move off to the side here. If you've never seen one of these Puzz 3Ds before. A three-dimensional puzzle like this. Um, the thickness of this foam, and it's it's pretty firm. If I, if I give it a little squeeze, it compresses a little bit. Um, but it's firmer than say, a memory foam mattress. And what that allows is for the pieces to actually hold their shape as you build them up into a three-dimensional object. Now, let's see. Got some red on that one. There we go. End of something. I imagine that the other side is probably similar. Let's see. Uh, except the words are going to be opposite. Because eventually, What's going to happen is let me show you. There's one ladder. one more ladder. They look like they are mirror images of each other. But once we put it together, since this is a three-dimensional object, these two parts are going to go here like this. And you can see that essentially it's a replica of a ladder that's the same on both sides. Make sense? Okay, let's set those guys aside. Now, let me see what's next. Okay, we have this little guy. Ready to drive the fire truck. And he needs a place to sit. This looks like it'll match nicely. In the driver's seat. Very nice. Okay. I've got a few more words. Now, what you might have noticed is a piece like this. If you look at this piece, it looks like it still needs stuff connected to it, but it's a different shape than this regular curved puzzle piece. See how we've got straight sides? right angles. Now this will attach here, but it's these pieces. I don't actually know if these have, have a name. <laughs> I always call them nubs or nubbins when I do puzzles with my kids. they'll allow us to do is turn this from a flat
puzzle into a three-dimensional puzzle. Okay. So, let's start putting together the rest of the sides of the cab. Okay. So that pretty clearly is going to say fire department right there. So I need I need a little rounded nub thing to fill in this cap. Oh, I almost forgot to look up here. learned something vital. <laughs> the time limit for recording a video on my iPhone, which is an older iPhone, 4S instead of 5, for those of you who are cool and have the new one, I'm old school. But the video time limit is working on this part right here and as you can see I've completed one whole side of the fire truck so I'll see if I can get the other side done sorry to have to cut to that I'll figure this out as I go so what I was looking for or what I mentioned in uh, the exquisite commentary that you missed out on. Is that one of the nice things about these Puzz 3Ds, when you're making a 3D structure, especially something like a vehicle where the two sides are meant to be very similar. If you finish one side, the other side can be modeled after it. As we saw with the ladders, the one thing that's important to remember is that it's going to be a mirror image. At least in terms of general shape. Obviously, the words will still be the same. Anyway, hopefully you get what I mean. So I can use this as my template. Makes it a little bit quicker to find the pieces that I need part of the, the wheel. Looks like there's an axe on this side as well. That's good. You never know when you'll need a second axe. Okay, now we've got the instrument panel. like this side, instead of these poster tubes or, or hoses or whatever they are, we've got a ladder on this side. Seems like it would be an important tool for a firefighter to have in his or her arsenal. So we have the two sides, we've got the ladder, we have the front of the fire truck, we do the back of the fire truck, if I can figure it out. Hmm. That looks promising. 
a piece. This one maybe? No. I must confess that I've never done a puzzle on camera. It's a little bit disconcerting. You never want to look like a fool. with the territory, I guess. Sometimes I just have to deal with people screaming at their screens when they see a piece, when they see something that you don't see. so frustrated with with relaxing ASMR's crossword puzzle videos. Cause I'm a crossword puzzle nut. <laughs> and I was when I was watching the, those videos I was like one of those people who watches Wheel of Fortune all the time. get good at that sort of thing, at figuring out combinations of letters that suggest certain words or phrases, and then you find yourself yelling at your TV screen. <laughs> Not sure what this is. Oh, I think I know. I'll show you guys how this works. So, we have... Let me lay out the pieces here. We have the two parts of the roof. Right here. We have the front, the back, two sides, and the ladder with two sides. And now I'm going to put it together. So actually the first thing I'm going to do is attach, I have this backwards, I'm going to attach attach the ladder to the roof for reasons that may or may not become clear once I actually put this together. Basically there are certain parts of these puzzles that are a little more fragile, not in the sense that they'll break, but in the sense that you might squish it and have to reassemble the, the pieces. So you can see how these, these little nubbins go into these holes. Just like that. And we have the roof the fire engine. Now we can attach the sides. There's one side. This is the part that was always most satisfying to me. When you finally you have all the walls assembled, or rather all the walls in their final form, how you have that you want to say it. And then you put the walls together and almost like magic you end up with a structure coming together before your very eyes. Oh, I love it. I haven't 
done one of these in a while. Forgot how much fun I have doing these. Front. And lastly, the back. And there you have it. truck. Actually, it's one of the big fire trucks. It's pretty cool. Love it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Just taking a break from my work, so I'm gonna go back to what I need to be doing, and I uh, hope to see you guys again soon.